story for you. I was 18, and I had the physique of a pack of Tums. At this time, I lived in a house straight out of a Goosebumps novel. We had two dogs, two cats. My brother had a cat named Slick. Through the years, though, Slick would freaking inhale everything in our zip code and then grew to mythical-like proportions. Pretty much Slick was a devil bag with paws. My cat was Sticky. And Sticky liked to stick his claws into the side of the couch and just hang off the side of the couch. Hence the name Sticky. So this one weekend, my brother was off at college. My parents went to Tunica to hit up the casinos. You know, just a nice weekend by themselves. And I was left home alone with 20 bucks for pizza. And we all know <laughs> when that meant a party by myself quietly eating a full pizza circle while watching a movie on TNT. Most likely speed. I go downstairs, push, grab the 20. I'm getting a pizza. It's going down. It's going down tonight by myself. About this time, I hear a magnitude seven earthquake push, slam into the cat door. Slick is jammed into the cat door. The cat is so large that it got stuck, pulled out. Meow! So I go over. I kneel down, and I grab onto Slick's pig hooves, and I start pulling Slick out of the cat door. And I can see through the cat door that the garage door is still cracked open, which we left cracked, so the cats could wander around. So I open the door, going into the garage. It's dark. Our garage light had been out for like two years, so it's like, I can't really see much, but I can see the figure of Sticky eating cat food. So I'm like, okay, all the cats are in. <laughs> And then I try to get Sticky to come inside, because Sticky, Sticky didn't like the cat door. I don't know why, because Sticky's a cat. And cats, they don't really make any sense. So I call for Sticky. Sticky, come on, let's go inside. Sticky ignores me, because Sticky always got a disrespect. I call for Sticky again. Sticky, get your butt inside, Sticky. Ignored. Sticky's still crunching down. And then I noticed something odd about Sticky, that Sticky was much larger more homely than the sticky that I knew, my sticky. So I kneel down and I lean in. And there, right there, not here, there. That's when I notice that sticky is actually a dog-sized raccoon. I freaking freeze. And then it turns and does one of these. I freaking freak. <laughs> this startles the raccoon. It, I kick the cat ball and it lunges at me. I back up. I, I trip on the stoop going into the garage. I bash my head on the back of the door. The raccoon darts off into the garage. Which was now its own personal discovery zone. So I had no idea where it was. And I make sure the entity is contained in the garage. And at that point, I'm done. Last time I checked, this was my dad's house. Which meant it was my dad's problem. So I was just gonna pretty much leave it in there until they got home from Tunica. I had problems of my own. Hunger. So I pick up the phone. I start digging in the digits for dominoes. And that is when I hear something. What the frick was that? So I go over to the door leading into the garage and I put my ear against it. Sticky. Sticky was in the garage with one-fourth of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Sticky! The whole landscape of things have changed because Sticky fell under my jurisdiction, which meant that the raccoon was now a me problem. I kneel down, I unlock the cat door, I pop my hand through it, and I'm like, Sticky! Sticky! Sticky wasn't gonna come in. Sticky didn't like cat doors. I had to go inside and get Sticky before the raccoon got sticky. I run to the fridge, grab a fat stack of case singles, craft singles. My thoughts were, if I did encounter the raccoon, I could lure it out with pre-processed American cheese. And who doesn't like pre-processed American cheese? So my thoughts were, my hockey gear could be my riot gear. My camping headlight 
could be my torch to see into the veil of darkness. My hockey stick would be the tool in which I would mighty ducks a new definition of pain into it. I didn't want to kill it, but if it did not take the easy way out through the garage portal, I would have to slap shot that lumpy sack with such force that its life soul would rip from its vessel. I go downstairs, turn on my headlight, I unlock the door, crack it open, right? And then I kick it open. I had to let it know who's boss right from the get go. Raccoon! This is Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. You sick sack of sewer spot. I hit the garage door button. I hit it again, it stops, cracked. I at this moment was terrified beyond rational thought. It was quiet, too quiet. I didn't know where the freak it was. It could have been anywhere. I call out for Sticky. Sticky, Sticky, Sticky. I start hearing things rustling around and then a box falls. Ah! Hello? Hello? A devilish animal squeak comes out. All I wanted to do is have a night of pizza pageants. Feed pizza, life, the pursuit of happiness. And then some things fall. Come on, then! Come on, bring it! Bring it! I had looked over on my dad's workbench and grabbed an empty wash bucket. And I turned. And I was like, bring it on! <laughs> I hear squeaks. And it comes. Start it up! I run into the utility room. I slam the door. And I wait. I can hear its nails clinking on the garage concrete. Oh, that's terrifying. I start looking around the utility room, seeing if I can find anything to use as a tool. I hear something behind me. So I turn and flash the light, and then Sticky pops up. Good Lord, Sticky! Let's get out of here. I grab Sticky, and I put Sticky around my neck. Sticky sinks his claws into my freaking shoulders, and I grab the handle onto the utility door. And I'm like, this is it. This is it. I open the door and I run out swinging. Sticky insta jumps off me. I see it. It's night eyes glittering out at me, right near the garage crack. It's so close. I grab the fat stack of case singles and I slap him on the ground. I grab the hockey stick, I pull back, and I slap shot him. Some of them hitting the garage door, but some of them get through, right? And then it bolts out to the cheese. I turn. I run to the garage door. It closes, I can see it! It was out! And then, a wearied warrior walks into the kitchen to place a call to Domino's for a feast was beckoning! And then that's when I noticed it was 10, 15. And Domino's was closed. If I couldn't have my feast, then I would not let the raccoon have one crap single! So I book it out the back door. Psh, screen door opens. I run to the fence. I swing it open. And there it is, nibbling on cheese. I get its attention by slapping the stick against the fence. And I say, Payment is due! And I go berserk mode, just swinging this. I just start chasing it. It tries to grab the cheese down the driveway. It goes down the thing curb. It's running to the storm drain, because this is where they all come out. And I'm chasing it. Payment is due! I'm like, you're not having that cheese! It bolts down the storm drain. And I walk up. And guess what's left on the grates? The craft single. I pick it up. And I'm like this. Payment received! 